Managers at the Kericho Best Tea Farms are owned by Unilever. Lipton and James Finlay and Co. that supply some of Britain's most popular brands, including PG Tips and Lipton, are facing multi pronged investigations relating to rape, harassment, and sexual exploitation of casual workers. The expose by BBC Africa dubbed Sex for Work The True Cost of Our Tea in which two female casual laborers claimed to have been forced to sleep with high-ranking officials at the said companies in order to be absorbed into their respective workforces, has caused uproar within government agencies and human rights lobby groups both locally and internationally. The Director of Public Prosecution, DPP Nurdin Haji, has since ordered the National Police Service to commence investigations into alleged cases of rape and sexual assault at a consumer goods company Unilever and tea manufacturer James Finlay, Kenya. The DPP said the allegations are contrary to Section 4, 5, 6, 23, 1, and 26 of Sexual Offences Act, as well as Section 6, 1 of the Kenyan Employment Act. Besides the police, the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection and Parliament have launched parallel probes. Managers at the British-owned farms are accused of sexual exploitation against Kenyan women looking for jobs in the two tea farms. In a statement sent to newsrooms earlier today, the principal secretary in the State Department for Labor, Geoffrey Kaituko, said the government takes the allegation seriously and expressed concern that such acts could happen. Kaituko disclosed that the ministry is engaging all parties involved, including the workers, trade unions, and the employers, to get to the bottom of this matter. According to the PS, the outcome of the probe will be made available to the public once complete. He said the latest revelations depict a hostile work environment in the two companies, which is not conducive to employment even as he reiterated that sexual harassment is a criminal offense. Revelations of sexual exploitation perpetrated in the two farms came to the fore early this week in an investigative documentary aired by the BBC. In the documentary, the British broadcaster says it found more than 70 women had been abused by the managers at the plantations operated for years by Unilever and James Finlay. Yesterday, the British High Commissioner to Kenya, High Excellency Jen Marriott, condemned sexual abuse, saying the appalling behavior has no place in the society. In the meantime, the Kenya Plantation and Agricultural Workers Union demanded that the James Finlay and Unilever Tea Company cease sourcing labor through contractors. The union instead wants the companies owning the tea farms to offer direct employment to all contracted employees. Cases of blunt and human rights abuses by British-owned farms in the country have been on the rise. Previously, the Muranga based agricultural enterprises Kakuzi PLC has been on the spot over human rights abuse allegations ranging from murder, rape, assault and imprisonment against its employees and the neighboring community members. Law firm Lady said that 79 Kenyans had launched a legal claim in the High Court in London against Camellia for alleged human rights abuses by security guards employed by Kakuzi, its Kenyan subsidiary. The allegations are dating from 2009 to January 2020, including rapes, attacks on local villagers, and a man being beaten to death, Lady said. However, Lady lodged the case against Kakuzi's parent company, noting that the firm's close supervision by its UK managers. The UK Sunday Times published part of the allegations levied on Kakuzi, included the battering of a 28-year-old man to death over alleged stealing avocados. The allegations led Tesco to ban Kakuzi as its supplier on October 11, 2020, Pending investigations, supermarket chain Sainsbury and Lille also suspended Kakuzi supplies in the wake of the adverse reports. Stanley Lugaria, the informer, uncovering the truth.